Hi y'all, she was seven, I'm back. Okay y'all, I just washed my hair so that's why I was looking like this, okay? I'm letting it air dry today. But I was gonna make a video on um, clothing, like how to dress to get the kind of guy you want. I'm gonna show y'all a few examples because I still have my clothes from when I was younger. I'm gonna, t I'm gonna show y'all what I, I was wearing when I met my husband. I'm gonna show y'all what he bought me the kind of clothes he selected for me the first time he bought me clothes. And I'm going to show you all this. This is what guys like that are about something, that are professional, that are providers. Okay, so. Um, let me show you what I was wearing when I first met my husband. Okay, so I had on a black blazer and a skirt. This I had on this black blazer and a camisole, a cami under it, you know, like professional. Everything's covered. This this doesn't show cleavage. Okay, so this is like this. And I had on a skirt and uh, heels. So basically, this. With a black skirt, not long, but maybe to my knee, and heels. I was waiting to go to work. I worked in a funeral home, okay? I was a funeral director. I was getting ready to go and bomb a body. Okay. I was at a bar. And that's where I met him. Um, after we started dating, the first thing he bought me, we went shop. We went to the Galleria. We were walking around, and he bought me this. This is a light blue sweater from Banana Republic, and it's made out of cashmere. He bought me a blue cashmere sweater this was a 70 dollar sweater just just so y'all know the um, this was our second date or third date that he bought me this um <laughs> and i didn't ask him to take me shopping either he just like hey you want to go walk around because the restaurant we were going to was in the same building as the gallery and the next thing he bought me I don't have the other piece to this because it's in my closet. But this is a, a silk Ann Taylor suit and it came with a sheath dress under it. So he bought me this. The, the dress comes down to your knee and this goes over it. So he bought me this light blue Ann Taylor. Uh, beautiful <laughs> silk. And this was like $150 for this whole thing. And that was on our, and he also bought me some really nice jewelry to go with it. Mm -hmm. And then when we were dating, this is the kind of stuff I wore. Like when we would go, out, sorry y'all, close hanger they're falling. When we would just go out to dr have drinks and stuff. I'm doing a video. I would wear this blaze. It's, it's this is a um, a Chanel style tweed jacket with um maybe like a black turtleneck or a black sweater or a, a shirt under it and then a pair of jeans and heels that's what we want that's what i want to date because his friends were professionals you know his friends were doctors and attorneys and uh, architects and stuff like that so you can't be all hoochified in front of uh, men with this type of money because they think you're a hooker if you if you don't dress the part okay or a stripper they don't see you as an equal if you're dressed like a slut y'all so you gotta dress nice and then when we went to las vegas <sighs> went to vegas y'all and then he bought me this blazer from some store i don't know this is just this is like you know i wore, wore this with some jeans and heels and a little tight top under it or boots and this, this is how you dress simple professional casual and not and and like you have class you know you don't go around showing everything you know uh, this is how men with money look for their woman to dress classy okay and um, like after you get married the type of stuff you can wear athletic clothes cardigans jeans um you know stuff like that my, my husband bought me this fuzzy black sweater 
to go with like with some jeans and some boots you know you just dress casual after you get married it doesn't matter because you're you know but when you have to go and meet people or to like a function yeah you could dress back up again and yeah so i just you know you just wear this with a pair of jeans and boots and a scarf that's how you dress when you get married you cover up but you're still stylish you're 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 fabulous like you don't have to show it off anymore because you got what you need you know you you got all the attention you got the man you got you know the house you got the car so you don't have to show all the other stuff off to other people you know um, you can buy nice expensive classic pieces that shows your um, status in life you know a woman that shows a lot of her body and cleavage is seen as trashy and um, unclassy and probably comes from you know not a lot of money but if you ever watch you know women who grew up with like uh, doctors and attorneys and architects and um, business owners and real estate moguls as their parents they don't go around dressed with everything hanging out because they don't have to you know um, they're kind of covered up dressed in nice designer clothes if you don't do designer just get classic pieces that look nice and when you go out certain men will be attracted to you that have the same level of um, respect for themselves you know if it, men are not extra flashy who have money okay they're very conservative you're not gonna see them coming a mile away you're not gonna see them blinging and flashing everywhere you're gonna see a reserved casual confident man with classic clothing on stylish clothing nice pieces you're not gonna see fads you're not gonna see a bunch of uh, colors flashing everywhere it's gonna be very simple and professional that's what you're gonna see and for shoes if you wear too many heels that are just like out of this world and like hookerish save it for the bedroom where you can still wear heels now. don't get me wrong now but don't make them so ghetto or flashy or trashy that they draw too much attention keep them simple you know keep them classic keep them designer or keep them uh, simple you don't want to go too much on the shoes because they're, they're like okay <sighs> something's off about this you know why does she have on hooker heels with this nice blazer and um whatever you know what's going on here and and ladies if blazers are not your style you can still do slacks or jeans with a nice sweater and, and a scarf um you don't have to do blazers this is just what we did when i was young y'all because y'all know i'm old <laughs> i don't like for these modern times just a nice uh, blouse with a with a cute wrap infinity scarf or just a simple top and some simple jeans and heels that's not too flashy just as long as you're covered and your clothes don't look like you bought them you know at, at the trend sale you know you, he can introduce you to his mother in this outfit he can introduce you to your to his colleagues in your in this outfit he can take you to a, a business meeting a business function a business dinner with what you have on and you don't have to be like oh I gotta go home and change you know your outfit can go in from day to evening with just a few accessory changes okay so don't and a lot of times guys who are very uh, business oriented they don't have time to go home and change and change they keep stuff in their trunk so you have to be also prepared like have a pair of shoes in your trunk have a, a, a different shirt in your trunk have something uh, always to, to just you know hurry up and change into because you could go from having lunch to going to some um, fancy dinner later on with some work colleagues or just you might see a, a, a happy hour that you want to go to because there's a lot of guys there with money and you live all the way on the other side of town and you don't want to have to sit through traffic and by the time you get back they're gone keep stuff in your car so you can hurry up and switch it out okay and uh, like smells you don't want to smell too much like a baby because grown men don't like that you don't you want to smell sophisticated 
womanly, exotic. You don't want to smell fruity and sweet and da da da. You don't want to smell like you're still in college or in high school. You want to smell like a grown woman. Okay. You want to turn heads. You want to. You want your perfume to match your personality and your outfit. You know. So um, focus on that. You know. A lot of men uh, like the scent of vanilla and um, also an alluring scent of orchid. So if you can combine orchids and vanilla and some type of perfume, more power to you because those are seductive fragrances as well. Um, wearing certain colors can make men more attracted to you and see you as more feminine. Wearing pinks, wearing soft blues, wearing pastel colors, light grays. You can pair it with black, but make sure you have something light in there to remind them that you are feminine and that you're a woman because they see men all day in black suits and gray suits and, and blue suits. When they see you, they need to see a touch of pink, a touch of blue, light blue, some some bright, um, pretty lipstick, um, you know, a nail, a nail color that's appropriate but not too flashy. And men don't like all that nasty stuff on your nails. Um, like... Uh, a lot of men don't like all the extra stuff, especially businessmen. They don't like all that extra stuff on your nails, ladies. I know it's cool. I've done it. But that was after I was married. <laughs> so when you're trying to catch, keep it simple. French manicure, pink, red, something simple. When you get them, then just go all out and do whatever you want. Say, hey, I just want to try this. I think it's cute. And, you know, Whatever, they'll have to get used to it. But when you're trying to catch, you keep it simple because you don't know what they like. They might say, hey, I like those long nails. Will you put those on for me? And then you'll be like, yeah, I can do that. But keep it neutral. It's like before, before purchasing a house, a lot of people keep their walls white or cream so that whoever buys it can say, hey, I want to paint it this color, this color, this color. Keep yourself neutral, a neutral canvas until you learn their likes and then you can you know you can start molding your style but um yeah and always be confident about yourself don't think that you don't fit in because they're going to automatically see that and so we're their friends and they're going to pick on you so when you go somewhere with a man that has money and lots of important friends and stuff like that act like you belong there you, you know yeah you know don't Try to speak as, as properly as you can. If you don't speak proper, if you use a lot of curse words, stop cursing. It's a, it, it doesn't, it's not ladylike. So, you know, stand up straight, look people in their eyes, smile, act like you belong there if you don't feel like you belong. Because I always act like, I, I, I always acted like I belong there and higher places. You know, y'all gotta act, okay? Um, and I, I kind of grew up around a lot of people that had money, so I, I felt comfortable around people with money, you know. Um, but if you didn't grow up around a lot of people with money, you know, you, you're just going to have to get used to feeling like you belong there, okay. Um, a lot of people will show their insecurities, and this will turn people off quick. Or it'll make you turn, turn away and push other people away because you're insecure. They're going to say something about you. But keep your confidence, know you belong there, know that's what you deserve, and go for it. I mean, a lot of people are going to call you a gold digger behind your back anyway. They don't know you, they don't know your story. But at the end of the day, if, if you get what you came for, then it's a win-win. Okay, I'll see y'all later. Bye!